Now we want to talk about capital and its accumulation. So back to this graph that we showed earlier in today's lecture, right now we want to focus the part that how does investment becomes capitals. So before we go through the detail for that, I want to define a couple terms. The first term is capital, I denote it as K. It is a stock concept. So sometimes we also call it the capital stock. The investment I is a flow concept. That is how much investment we made at each period. Then we define a term that is called depreciation rate, that is delta. You can think about that as that we, when we use the capital, we are going to have some wear out. So the depreciation will be delta multiplied by K. So then you can think about the delta tells the percentage of the capital that got wear out. And the delta K tells us what is the total amount of the capital got weared out. So then if you may recall what we had when we talk about the concept of stock versus flow, we draw a best top. Now we say given that the water flowing into the best top is the flow concept. So in here, it belongs to the investment. And then the water that has been accumulated in the best top is a stock concept. Therefore, it belongs to the capital stock. So then how to capture the concept of the delta K in this graph? Given that when there is some wear outs, then it means that if there were no water flowing into the best top, then the amount of the stock should decrease. Therefore, you can think about it as the leakages. It's more like we drill a hole in here and then the water can come out. And then so if there is no investment and there's only depreciation, toward the end, the water in the best top will all gone. Now let's characterize this whole process using an equation. So what we want to have in here is that at t equals zero, we have the initial capital stock that equals zero. You can imagine that when you begin your business, you have nothing. But then during the first time or when it just starts, you are going to do some investment during period t equals zero. So then when the business officially begins, at the period t equal 1, the capital stock we are going to have in hand will be the capital stock we had in the previous period, which is 0, because we don't have anything. But if we should have any initial capital stock, then that capital stock will be wear out, and then what will be left will be what we can use at the beginning of the, this year. So then we write down as K naught multiplied by one minus delta plus the new investment we made in the previous period. So in here, I want to emphasize that the K one here is the capital at the beginning of T equal one. And then during T equal one, we made new investment. And then we are going to keep on having the capital stock at the beginning of the second period, that is K2, which equals the capital stock in the previous period after depreciation. So it will be K1 multiplied by 1 minus delta plus the new investment we made in the previous period, that is I1. So then we can keep on moving on, invest, and then we are going to have the capital stock at time T. We say that at time t, the capital stock that we can use at the beginning of the time t will be the capital stock we had in the previous period, which is kt minus 1 after wear out. So it will be 1 minus delta, and then we plus the new investment we made in the previous period, which is i t minus 1. So then we can keep on moving on. We have the investment at time t, that is it. And then we are going to have an equation. It tells us the capital stock next period will be equal 1 minus delta, the capital stock this period, plus the investment in this period. So you can think about kt plus 1 as the capital stock that you can use at the beginning of the 2025. And then the 
1 minus delta kt will be the amount of the capital stock left after the operation of the year 2024. So that is the KT will be the capital stock at the beginning of the 2024. After a year, there is some wear out. So then what is left will be one minus delta multiplied by KT. And then there is some investment that you made during the year 2024. So then at the beginning of the year 2025, which are the capital stock you can put into the production process during the year of 2025 will be the amount of the capital stock that is left at the end of 2024 plus the new investment made during the 2024. And then the total amount will be what you can use in year 2025. And we have the name for this equation, which is called the law of motion. Before we end the discussion related to investment and capital accumulation, I want to ask you a question. That is, if we want to keep the capital stock level always the same, what should be the amount of the investment we made to achieve this goal? It turned out that the answer is that we need to invest the amount of the depreciation, that is delta K. So why that is the case? Well, think about the best top in here. We have the inflow of the water. We have the capital stock that accumulated in the best top, and we have the leakages that is delta K. So then to keep the water level exactly the same for all the times, in order to keep the water level exactly the same all the time, we need to have the water that flowing into the bathtub that is exactly the same as leakages. If the water that flowing into the bathtub is less than the leakages, that is delta K, then the level of the water should fall. On the contrary, if the water flowing into the bathtub is more than the leakages, then the water that accumulated in the bathtub, which is the K, should increase. So then in order to keep the same level, the depreciation, that is the leakages, need to be equal to the inflow, which is the investment in here. So if you still find this concept difficult to digest, uh, I want to give you an example for the badminton. So when you play badminton, you have 10 shuttles. And then when the game begins, then there will be some wear outs. So by the end of the first round, you are going to have the wear out one shuttle and then you are going to have nine shuttles left then in order to have the same amount of the shuttle at the beginning of the second round then you need to invest or you need to put back another shuttle that is one which is equal to wear out and then you will be able to have the same amount of the shuttle which is 10 at the beginning of the second round so then in order to keep the stock level exactly the same, you need to set the investment equal the wear out. So I need to be equal delta K.